What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Just finished up the first soccer Saturday of the new spring season out in Lindbergh. I'm super pumped that game day is back with soccer in the streets. First game of the season, we tied it two to two. We're up two to one with about five seconds left and then they scored. In my opinion, the ref went about 45 seconds over and my players were pissed boss. Tell them, dude, in life, in soccer, things aren't gonna go your way most of the time. So you just gotta learn to deal with it. Anyways, it's almost been about three years since I moved to Atlanta. I moved to Atlanta in uh, June of 21. So like three more months, it'll be three years. That's, that's crazy. Time has absolutely flown by. But this got me thinking how much I've literally leveled up my life in multiple different ways ever since I moved to Atlanta. And moving here forced me to do that. When I got here, I realized, oh my God, you know, this city is pretty crazy. Lots of things going on, lots of noise, lots of energy, like lots of people on the grind, on the hustle. Like I must level up myself also if I want to make it here and I feel like that's exactly what I've done the last couple years so let's talk about that I grew up in the suburbs of Ohio and it was a fine experience don't get me wrong but the day I got here, the day I moved all my stuff in, I, I, I literally remember taking a look in the mirror and thinking, wow, like, we gotta get to work. Clearly, there was some money here. New townhomes going up all over the city for like 700 grand minimum. In the downtown area, I see more luxury cars than I do, non-luxury cars. And it seemed like almost every single person I met seemed to be doing something on the side of their full-time job, a side hustle. Money is not everything. It does not bring you happiness. I've said that time and time again, but it allows you to be more stable and experience more of life. Plus, when I moved here alone at 22 years old, I had a mindset that I need to bust my butt and work as hard as I possibly can to see what I can create for myself. I think that kind of mindset is good to have, especially when you're young. So I moved here and seeing all the successful people made me want something more in, in my life. So all these people making a good amount of money forced me to realize that you know, my job right now sucks. I'm not making good money. I, I want something more and more fulfilling. At the time when I moved, I worked for a public accounting firm and I, it was like, my mind was being fried. Like I feel like I was dying, just sitting at my desk, crunching numbers. So I, I took the risk, but what helped me take the risk was just seeing all the successful young people here in the city. You know, I look at them and I'm like, if they can take a risk and make good amount of money, then maybe I can too. So I took the risk, quit my job and do the job that I do now, which was half commission based have my income as commission and fortunately I've done very well I've almost I've pretty much almost doubled my income over the last uh, two or three years since I moved here and I, I largely give credit to the just the city of Atlanta and the atmosphere here and the grind hustle mentality all these people I was meeting with side hustles made me realize I want to do more also so I was already doing YouTube of course but when I moved here I bought a new camera I, a new mic I upgraded my drone I upgraded like the, the computer I use everything about YouTube took another Another step forward so my video quality now is so much better than when I moved here in addition I also took a job coaching soccer which I absolutely love to, to do and it's been two years of doing that now I'm, I'm so glad I took both those steps because I really feel like my life has upgraded Out here at Cascade Nature Preserve on the west side of the city. First time here, pretty dope spot. Come check it out. But like I was saying, I'm not just talking about like money or financial gains or any of the materialistic stuff. Even the more important than non-materialistic stuff. For example, here in Atlanta, I've quite literally met a person of every single kind of race, religion, political opinion, educational background. I've met people who work jobs here I've never even heard of. You'll come across some very diverse, unique, interesting people here that you might not get to meet elsewhere unless you go to another melting pot city you know like LA New York they're probably pr pretty similar to Atlanta in that sense something like this this can only help you it cannot hurt you at all you just get naturally exposed to more kinds of people more ideas maybe a certain specific topic you might start thinking about it uh, a different way moving to Atlanta also gives you I think the opportunity to reinvent yourself like completely change yourself if if you would like to so I think I've changed some aspects about me something as simple as picking up new hobbies of disc golf and pickleball that I do very just occasionally 
didn't do either of those until I moved here. My hair is shorter now than when I moved here and I've tried out some new fits. There's just very basic things on mind, but if you want to completely reinvent yourself, change who you are, change what you look like, change what you do, I think you have the good opportunity to do that here. I think people are, are generally very open, very ex accepting. No one is gonna judge you nearly as much as they would elsewhere. So if you can come here and reinvent yourself in a way that you think would benefit yourself in the long run and make you more happy and even make yourself more money and make yourself more successful, do it. It's a good place to do that. There's some really odd abandoned and rundown shacks here, like this one. I mean, I have no idea what that used to be. Oh, let's check it out. Is there anything inside here? It looks like a fish trap or something. A fish trap? I don't know. It's just very, very, very kind of sketchy here. If, if you can even see that, it's probably maybe like someone just hanging out, hiding behind here. I don't know. Don't want to say that in case someone jumps out. Let's get out of here. That might be a cool YouTube video though, eventually. You know, there's some YouTubers who like, you know, break into an abandoned home or walk through like a, a really scary cemetery or, or some, something like that, right? Abandoned hospital. I, you definitely watch those videos. I have. Maybe we'll do that eventually. Maybe, maybe I'll do that. So when I moved to Atlanta in uh, 2021, I felt like I was a boy, you know, a boy, I was fresh out of school, still felt kind of immature. Now I, I've been here three years, I'm about to turn 25 years old, I truly feel like I'm becoming a man. And so Atlanta has forced me to mature. I've matured a lot in the time I've been here. One with the ways I just mentioned, but two also dealing with the cons, the negatives of being here in a huge city, such as the crime. You know, the crime is a very prevalent factor of, of living here, but even I think that's helped me mature and, and grow up because I've had to deal with watching my surroundings, always being aware of where I am and who is around me and learning how the real world works. You know, I grew up in a very safe neighborhood in suburbs of Ohio and not as nearly as much people around where I always felt safe. That's not how most of the world actually is. You know, a lot of the world is in, unfortunately, is not a safe place. Also, say the cost of living. It feels like it's gotten twice as expensive living here over the last year or two. It's probably not doubled, but it seems like it. So I've had to learn how to, one, like I said, make more money or watch my spending, make a budget of some sort and cut down where necessary. But most importantly, learn how to only support myself without relying on anyone else. Moving here was never a long-term plan and I'm not gonna be here for forever, but I'm so glad that I did it. So whether you're looking to move to Atlanta or really looking to move anywhere, just switching your surroundings, trying something new and putting yourself deliberately in uncomfortable new situations will help you grow up and mature and level up like better and faster than you could ever think possible. Ellie, are you gonna be okay when we're gone? We're only going for like 30 or 40 minutes, I promise you. We're just gonna walk down the street, get a beer, and come back. When we first got her, she could not stay at home at all, period. Like she started tearing a bunch of us stuff up. But after four months, I think she has gotten better. So we're gonna test it one more time to see if she will tear anything up while she's uh, home alone. And you see these extra mattresses here. We keep these out occasion, living room one, because my sister was here last week, she slept on these. But two, when we leave the house, we'll put these mattresses like in front of the door so she can't scratch the door. Like I'm not gonna show you, but she has scratched the door uh, pretty bad so far. So we'll, we'll see how she is when, uh, when we get back. Please be a good girl. I'm not trying to pay more money. You already have cost me money to this apartment, all right? Like, they're already pissed. Let me get a bite of that, baby. Uh, feed the bees. Yeah. Uh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, big softy, Summer Hill, the best soft serve ice cream I've ever had, mm -hmm. and it's not close, it's not close, it's amazing, it's not cheap, this is the smallest cup they got, called the petite size, plus two toppings, of uh, cookie crumble, and sprinkles, seven dollars bro, yeah. seven bucks. Inflation is crazy. Halfway Crooks though, always a relaxing spot. It's never really crowded and their Blood Orange Rattler is probably one of the best beers I've had here. Really, really good. And it's cool just living in Summerhill, having that, that strip on Georgia Ave right down the street from our apartment complex. Anytime we want a quick beer or a quick soft serve ice cream or a quick meal, just head on out, walk down the street. 
It's pretty nice. Wrapping up the evening with watching the movie The Way Back with Ben Affleck. It's one of my favorite movies of the last few years. Uh, ben Affleck is, is probably like a top five actor for me. Uh, he plays basically an alcoholic in this movie who goes back to his old high school to coach basketball and revive the team from a crappy team into a good one and like in the meantime help himself personally as well. Highly recommend checking it out if you have not watched it yet. It's, it really is a good movie and if there's one thing that I would choose to do for the rest of my life is coach. It's uh if I can get this friggin' door open first, there we go. I would choose to go soccer for the rest of my life if if I could, uh, you know, pick to do one thing. But hopefully, hopefully one day in the future, 10, 15, 20 years, maybe I can do that full time. Doesn't pay the bills, so I just do it on the side right now. In the meantime, I really hope you enjoyed another video today as much as I did making it. Let's wrap it up. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, because I drop a new video every single Monday that you don't want to miss. As always, guys, work hard, be nice to people. I'll see you guys next Monday.